welcome back to Factorio. I'm Hitman82. This is episode 48. So as you can see in front of you, we've got electric furnaces. So I, you see these blue icons right here, and it shows a picture of a logistics robot. That means I need stuff. And what those stuffs are is these um, efficiency, efficiency module twos. So I set up a blueprint um, so that I'd be able to uh, tell it to put those efficiency modules in so whenever they come available on the system the robots will put them in I don't ever have to think about this again so that's why I did it this way so what I'm doing now is gonna set up so let me see I think I'll do two strings of iron and then two strings of copper no wait uh, I'll put some steel in there <laughs> but we'll get it done so I want to try and get this so that I've got enough room between the robo ports because I don't want to be running the robo ports when I'm doing this. So I'll have to be careful of that. So for now, let's just see how these fit. Oh, yeah, they'll fit. So I could, in fact, leave uh, more of a gap between them. So that's what I think I'll do. So pull all that out of there. Like so. It's so easy to move stuff around like this, isn't it? Um, put two in there, and then, nope, oh, that's not what I want. I want a gap of one. Come back, robots, bring me all that stuff again. And that. Um, Alright, so, unfortunately, I went and did all that, and then just realized that mm, that means I'd have the copper over here, and then have this steel split. Hmm, we ran into that one before, right, Trillian? So, we'll, we'll have to see what we can do with that. Right, so what we'll do here is we'll stick in, there's our other, make sure I've got it facing the right way. Oh, and I ran out of belts. So what this is, is the first two here will be iron, the next two here will be copper, and then I'll do the steel separately, and the reason for doing it separately is because these are all kind of the same setup and the same width, and eh, it's not a big deal. So what I'll have to do next is set up a blueprint. Um, Actually, I'll pause here. I'm going to run off and get some more belts. I didn't realize I was that low. All right, we're back again. Had to get some blue inserters as well. Get all the way back here, and it was all set to start, and then I had to run all the way back again. So we won't worry about the power to this yet. Okay, so that's the two iron. You know what? I'm going to make these two copper, and then these two iron, and then they'll be next to... Wow, that's so much smarter. Why didn't I think of that before? Okay, so now we'll have to set up a print for the, um, the steel. So what we'll want to do here is we'll have another one going up. And that'll be our iron and... Oh, I guess we don't need coal, do we? Ha ha! Hmm, I wonder if I could have done this differently. I could have put the... Hmm... Just wondering about... Ah, uh, you know what? That'll be fine. That'll be fine. So that's our iron going up that side, and then we make this and plop it down here, and that's going to be to cook the iron, and then it's going to cook into steel in this one, and then it's going to be output here onto the belt, which will go this way. Alright, so let's get another bunch of those done. We'll get in our power poles. Oops back where they belong. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of those now. Oh, I can't wait. I, I've got, you can see the orange, I've got the robot network somewhat set up. So I guess the next thing here will be getting the uh, the chest set up so that they can actually haul stuff to me. Get some logistics robots on the network too. Uh, Alright, so this is our iron, or our um, steel setup. So I'm going to blueprint that. Oops, no, no. We're going to put lights on it first, aren't we? See all these other ones? I put lights on. Yes, I know, I'm amazed too. I remembered lights. Oh, and I didn't remember to put in inserters. Ooh, thanks. Thanks for reminding me whoever shouted that out. I'll do... And I'm out of blue inserters again. <laughs> okay, well, I'll have to go get some more in the meantime, or, and then I'll have to make the blueprint. Oh, it's not so light. And then I'll have to run the power in and then get the ore over here. So. I'm going to keep going on this, get a bunch more put up in here, and then I'm going to rip out all those those smelters. So I'm going to kind of do jump cuts as I go and do that. So I'll see you in a moment. 
So numerous times, like I had to go back for power poles, I had to go back for belts, I had to go back for, oh my gosh, so much stuff. So you know what? I think our next project is going to be um, getting the uh, chest souls set up and our logistics network going. So that'll be, I think, next episode. Now that I'm saying it right now, we'll see. <laughs> Things change. I could be attacked like really hard or something. I don't know. But the plan is to take care of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, steel wise uh, I'm wondering I guess I should first I'll show you I'm not sure how much I've shown of doing these blueprints but when you do you want to set it up to make it so it could tile I don't know if you know what I mean by tiling if you're doing um pictures and stuff you can make them so they they all link up and it makes a continuous picture as you put them together that's tiling that's what I want to do with these blueprints so you see I've got really the only thing here is the lighting and this setup here so I've got the light there on this side, and then it goes to that side. The next one, it'll be back over here, but just zigzag all the way up. Um, I don't think I did that on... Oh, yes, I did it on these ones. Right, so let's make this blueprint. Um, you don't have to stand inside it. It doesn't matter where you stand. And we copy that. So then I'm going to change this to uh, steel furnaces, even though they're not really steel furnaces, but they're making steel. You know what I mean. So you hit enter once you type that in. You use the little, see it says edit label. And you type in the name of your blueprint. And you can add in stuff like, um, see I could tell it not to include all those modules. Okay. But we want to. Um, you can just put, these are the pictures that show up. So I could do this like this. And then I could say it's steel. So when I look at this, it shows there's a picture of a furnace. I don't know how well you can see it on my uh, video here but you can see a picture of a furnace and then the steel and we'll create that see now you can tell it from this one which I didn't put a label in because I just thought of doing that right now <laughs> we learn as we go uh, let me see let's do four inputs on this just no one input we'll do one more line of the steel ones did I do that right I did Okay, so here's all our input, our our furnaces. Now we just go go along and put some power to them. Send some power to these people. I really only needed to connect the one, to be honest. So I could actually get rid of that one and that one. And uh, you know what? I should stick another one in here just so it reaches the wall. Okay, so our next step is to get this stuff on here we don't have to deal with the coal so it's pretty straightforward so we're just gonna uh, we're gonna have four lines of each coming in where the heck am I gonna bring the ore in now that's the next question so let's have a quickie look at the map oh, I wish that flashing wasn't on there it's kind of irritating but it's it saves so much work later so the ore is going to be coming in from the bottom and and then the finished products are coming back out again which may mean I end up turning my whole iron bus around. I didn't really, maybe I didn't think this through, right? But I don't really have a place to put it over here on the east to keep the belt direction going. Hmm. Never looked at that till just now. Well, I don't have much of an alternative. And I don't really want to run four belts of iron plates this way, turn around and bring the four plates back that way. It's just dumb. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take the iron bus right here. Ah, oh, it's too bad I already upgraded it. But I'm going to take the iron bus, which means now i got to reverse all the stuff. But it's going to be better in the long run because this is the final setup for the furnaces. So let's get some of this wood out of here. We'll clear a little bit of that on screen here. Just because if you haven't been watching, the robots are so awesome to watch. Busy little things. Bob Ross would love them. Let's see they're happy little robots. Okay, there we go. Remember when I said we'd have lots of wood? <laughs> well, look how fast you can clear a forest. Great, all the bots. They circle around you to charge up before they go in your inventory. And then they go in your inventory right here. Alright, so let's get four uh, the four belt outputs. Uh, let's just stick the first one in here now. This is a bit awkward. I haven't really done it this way before, but hey, I should have actually paid more attention, but now I'm going to pay for the 
pay the price, but I don't really want to change it because I kind of like the spot form. Oops. Oh my gosh, click that right. And we'll do the same. You know what? We'll just do this. Uh, we've got a blueprint. And we'll just copy you. And you. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, what do we have here? One, two. Then I went to copper. Okay, so it's only going to be two lines coming out for that. Good, so here's the copper output. Put the pelts in the right way is usually best. <laughs> oh, that tree stump had you get in there. Get some more copper. And here's a steel. I built the steel, so I'm going to have to do that one too. That's a major change in the bus, but you know what? We're just, when we're done, it'll be worth it. So now I have to figure where's my ore going to come from, and it's going to probably come up the sides here. So I think what I'm going to do is put the station in, the ore station down here, well, more like in around here. I'm going to have to expand the walls before I do that anyway. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what will happen here is if my factory continues on this direction, which it shouldn't too much further, maybe back here at the most, I may have to reverse the directions on some of the plates, but that's not going to be a problem. All right, so uh, off screen, I will go and I will get that finished. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, just thought I'm going to show a little bit of this just so you have some idea of what's involved. So fortunately, I hit this point. This is where, right here, this point is when my technology went so that I could start using blue belts. So fortunately, you can see uh, it's a lot of yellow belts in there. So i got to rip that out anyway, so this works out. I planned that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't believe me either. <laughs> so we're just kind of going along and doing it. So we've got, for instance, I want to get iron plates on the side of that belt now. Well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? So to do that, we need to do something a little bit different um, than what I had before. Move all that stuff back, and we'll do this. There. That does the same thing, and then we'll skip that past, and then balance it out again on that. Here we go. And all we can do is just go along the bus doing it like this. So I'll do a little bit more here, just so you, just so you can share in my pain. <laughs> like we don't want your pain. That's okay. Okay for me. You're gonna take it. You're gonna take it, and you're gonna like it. Take the pain. All right. So that one in, and then this will be like so, and then like so, and we'll stick this up here. We don't have to be exactly how it was, right? We don't have to be a stickler, stickler for that. So pull that out, put that one in. Pull that one out, put that one in. There. How's that? Like new. Nobody will ever know the difference in about 15 minutes, right? So we'll just keep going on that. Um, actually, I think I'll just I'll. I'll, uh, I'll do a little more of this off screen so you don't have to see it all. I just want to give you an example of what I was doing. All right, we're back at it again. I'll let's see, I'll stick a I'll bouncer in there. And what we're going to want to do here is get all the the ore and stuff out of the, uh, the old um, smelter. So what I'm going to do here is just, I just ran a, whoops, temporary belt from the other spot there and then I cut off the ore supply so eventually it'll drain out it shouldn't take too long okay and then the next thing to work on will be the copper so we'll get that started and again I'll, I'll do that off screen now let's get a balancer in here first like so and then we'll need the of course the copper I'd have on the wrong side of it <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Oh, and let me see, I guess I'll cut across it this way. Hit the belt there and slipped sideways. There we go. 
All right, so that'll populate that, and then I gotta go along and ooh, hey, you get caught between them. Whoa, wow, earthquake! That's what it looked like. All right, so I'll go along and I'll finish this off, and then we'll see where we land. So I <laughs> was not expecting to do that today, but this had to be done at some point. I needed to uh, upgrade the the belts on the the bus, so it was a good excuse to do that. Plus, um, well, I think going to be happier having things coming from this direction. I think that's going to work better. Well, I don't know about better, but it's going to work. As long as I don't miss belts. It'd be pretty easy to spot though. There'll be gaps. Here we go. Now we're getting into the yellow belts. So I'm obviously going to have to do some belt balancing here, judging by the mess here. Let's do this. And this, and then this. There, that kind of grabs it from up there and feeds it down on the here. As far as that belt balancer didn't handle it, oh, I guess can't do anything about this. Yeah, that's a unsightly mess, isn't it? What do you do differently in there? Well, you kind of need them like this, really. I guess I didn't really need this one here, so I could get rid of that. Will that work? That should still get it to all of them. All right. Well, that filled all the belts down here. That's a good thing. All right, and then uh, I guess we'll finish putting that stuff in. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll do that off screen. So I think we're about done for now. A little bit, a uh, little bit of a fast episode, but um, the alternative is watching me do this. So which would you rather do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, well we'll do a little bit more then. <laughs> That'll teach you. Oh, well, we want to see more. No, we don't want to see any more. Make up your mind. Uh, let's see. We'll just get this all sorted here, and then we'll knock off. How's that? You'll be fine. Mm, let's do it. Ah, that should be fine like that. And then what we do there is stick a balancer like that to pull the stuff from this line up here down onto this line. So that's why I put that in just past there. There we go. All right, well, let's knock off for today. So next episode, um, hmm, we'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing then, so you'll just have to tune in and see. So thanks so much for joining. Uh, make sure, uh, if you enjoy what you saw, uh, hit that like button. I really appreciate those likes. And drop a comment, say hello, hello, and I will say hello, hello. So I'll see you next time, and bye for now.